Hey Mitch Tram here. Let's talk about uh, gulp saltwater. These baits have been some of the most productive for me fishing in saltwater um, compared to any other um, artificial bait. The only thing in my opinion that beats these and it doesn't even always beat them is live bait. So let me just talk a little about how to fish them and maybe a couple of, of ways that maybe people have been fishing them that could be more productive. Let's get started. All right, so these come in multiple different types. Hot pink right here, and then you also have this chartreuse. These are my two favorite colors of the swimming mullet. And they come in other colors, and other colors may be just as productive, but I found these two colors in the swimming mullet are most productive for me. And then in the shrimp, which I use quite a lot of, um, so I typically buy it in this jug like this, I like the new penny color, which is this color right here. Now, um, as far as fishing these, there's really two ways that work really, really well. Um, the first way is just using some type of jig head, right? And these are H&H &H jig heads right here. And this is an H2O Express, which is an Academy brand. Um, I like these Academy brand ones. They have a, a rattle in them, which adds a little bit of, of noise there, which is kind of cool. Um, so a lot of times people will fish these and just use it like a regular jig where they just reel it in and then jig it a couple times and reel it and jig it a couple times and reel it and jig it a couple times, um, which works. But what I found is more effective than that, which sounds crazy, is fishing it almost like you fish a Texas rig. So you throw it out, you let it hit the bottom, and then you jig it twice. And then you let it set, and then you jig it twice. And, and that has been incredibly productive. Um, way more productive than just, like I said, fishing it like a jig, where you reel it, let it kind of sink, jig it, reel it, let it kind of sink, jig it, reel it, let it kind of sink. Throw it out there, let it hit the bottom, hit it a couple times. Kind of like you do a popping cork, right? Pop, pop and then let it set for you know a few seconds, three seconds, five seconds, then do it again. And you're gonna pick more fish up fishing it that way than jigging it. So that's, that's the number one way that you may fish this bait, and I do that all the time. Um, the second way is under some type of popping cork. And this is an H&H &H TKO, I think is what it is. Um, and I, I really like these. Uh, and the way you fish this is you tie a leader onto it with a jig head. Um, and that jig head, you're gonna put down 18 to 24 inches. I typically keep it right at about 18. Some people will do 12 inches. To me, 18 works the best. Now you might be in some really shallow water, so you wanna go up to 12, of course, right? But um, I'm actually gonna be fishing this in just a week here. I'm going to, to the coast. Um, the redfish are running in September and, and we'll be fishing this and I'll, I'll post some video of that. You can use like a, the Mansfield Mahler style, which is the, the cigar shaped one, or you can use this oval shaped one. You can use a regular popping cork. I personally like these oval shaped ones um, and there's multiple brands out there. This is an H&H &H one. I find they all are about the same. Some of them have brass beads, so they make a little more noise. But the way you fish this is you throw it out there and then you hit it a couple times and you let it set and then you hit it again and you let it set and you can work this slow or fast you might throw it out there and then pop it a couple times and let it set for five or ten seconds and then hit it again and let it set for five or ten seconds or you might kind of work it almost like a lure let it set and do it much more quickly. Um, and you'll just have to try it both ways, but these gulp work incredibly well underneath this popping cork. Um, and, and I would say, like I said, sometimes even better than live bait. These, um, 
are definitely some of my go-to baits. I never go to the coast without some gulp. Even if I'm going to be fishing live bait, I always have some gulp because they just work. Um, let me know if you have questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Um, also, you know, leave me some comments. Subscribe to my channel. And, and give the gulp a try if you haven't. I was very skeptical. I didn't try it till about two years ago. And now I don't go anywhere without it. All right, guys. Take it easy.